After covering loads of motherboards that were based on Z690 chip, uh, including some nice MSI Carbon EKX and Torpedo EKX, we're going to talk about Pro uh, B660 MA Wi-Fi DDR4, which is kind of in, in that uh, budget category that is quite affordable. It supports a new socket and we still have DDR4 which are still more available and more affordable comparing to DDR5. So uh, we're going to take a look at this one. It should be quite interesting because we're going to pair it up with the Intel Core i5-12600K and to get some speed benchmarks and see what we can expect from this board, of course. Let's start immediately with the IEO overview. We have two USB 2.0, we have mouse and keyboard PS2 connection, two display ports 1.4, and we have two HDMI 2.1. We have USB 3.2 generation one, five gigabits per second type A, actually two of those, two USB 3.2 generation two, 10 gigabits per second type A, 2.5G LAN, uh, Wi Fi antenna connectors and we have line in line out and microphone for the audio connections now some uh, important features that are needed to be mentioned lightning generation 4 for everyone who wants higher speed and performance in multitasking lightning gen 4 uh, m.2 slot we have front usb type c frozer ai cooling and as already stated 2.5 g lan now this motherboard as you already know supports 12th generation intel core processor the lga is 1700 and we have intel b660 chipset the first PCI Express slot is 4.0 times 16 and the second one is 3.0 times 16. We have four DIMMs for DDR4 which go up to 4800 MHz XMP enabled. Then we have expansion slot, so PCI Express 3.0 times 1 slot. Two M.2 Gen 4 times 4 64 gigabits per second slot which support Intel Optane technology for SATA 6 gigabits per second ports. Now for the audio, we have Realtek RTL 8125BG 2.5G LAN, wireless and Bluetooth Intel Wi-Fi 6 module with Bluetooth 5.2. So what we get inside this box is uh, two SATA connection cables for your hard drives or 2.5 inch SSDs. We get, uh, I think these are two standoffs for your M.2, so the top one and the bottom one, uh, two standoffs and two screws. We get two Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas, which are quite cool because you don't have those cables dangling around. You just connect them directly, twist them and adjust the angle. And finally, we get the IO cover, which is in hideous silver color. There's no artwork, there's nothing on top of it. And don't forget to place it inside before installing your motherboard. Now, checking out the board, it has uh, two huge passive heat sinks on the VRMs. You have a passive heat sink for your top M.2 SSD. And uh, basically, that's it. There's nothing too much going on. At the top, we have one 8-pin and one 4-pin EPS connection for your CPU. Here, standard 24-pin. Four PWM connections for your fans, which is... I don't know, I would expect at least five, but that's quite all right. You can manage something with the splitter. Then we have uh, two J Rainbow uh, connections, which means uh, two addressable RGB, five volts, three pin connectors, one at the top and one at the bottom. And right near the bottom one, you have 12 volts RGB four pin header as well. Two USB 2.0 headers at the bottom. We have J Audio at the left bottom part. Something to mention uh, that is, uh, in my opinion, quite important comparing to other, let's say, B660 or budget-oriented motherboards for this socket, you usually don't get easy debug LEDs. And right here, we actually have four of those, which is quite standard on some higher-end motherboards. Uh, we have boot, VGA, DRAM and CPU, which is quite handy and quite cool to have. Now it's basically time to plug in this motherboard and test it out with 12600K and see what we can expect uh, uh, in terms of numbers. Of course, how the DDR4 actually performs. Unfortunately, I don't have 4800 MHz uh, with me, but we'll try to find some uh, at least at 3600 so we can check out those. So let's dig in. Basically testing out the MSI Pro B660MA Wi-Fi DDR4. Uh, there were some quite interesting results and comparing it to ASRock B660M Steel Legend, 
there was really a quite uh, tight battle, I would say, between those two and making it into a budget category and ideal for 12600K processor, which is quite interesting. So here you can see the build, which is exactly the same as I did with the ASRock B660M. The only thing that was changed was the actual motherboard. So processor, cooler, RAMs, SSD, graphic card, everything is the same. Going from the start and taking into consideration the SSD, I use Silicon Power X Power XS70 Gen 4 times 4 1 terabyte and in AS SSD ASRock scored in read 5446 megabytes per second while the MSI scored 50 181 megabytes per second. Now there's something strange here because in write ASRock got 5333 megabytes per second while well, the MSI got 1868. I don't know what happened here but okay let's go with next benchmark. So Autodesk benchmark uh, for ASRock read speed 6.58 gigabytes per second while MSI 6.64 gigabytes per second and in write 5.47 gigabytes per second both so that's cool in crystal disk benchmark as you can see the difference is quite subtle and you can't see that much of a let's say difference in megabytes per second and in iops it's basically the same thing there's no too much difference when we're talking about this one now in memory speeds ms actually takes quite an advantage uh, i have here team group t force extreme white ddr4 with uh, 3600 megahertz clock speed and cl18 in read it's actually advantage with uh, 2.2500 megabytes per second in write by 900 and in copy almost 3k megabytes per second which is uh, quite outstanding i would say then we go with uh, benchmarking intel core i5 12600k and uh, in cinebench r23 in single core basically the difference is by 20 cinebench points and in multi-core by 60 so i would say those small cinebench difference uh, in points is basically you could do that if you rerun the tests and you get different uh, Points. so yeah that's definitely nothing to worry about as i said in asrock video and i'm going to say it for the ms as well they're both actually quite similar boards with great performance the only thing that i would take into consideration while buying and choosing between those two is actually the aesthetics of the motherboards because they both perform quite nicely in ssd benchmarks and in cpu benchmarks the only difference and the only advantage where i see the MSI is with the memory uh, read write and copy so yeah that's that uh, I would actually I don't know which one I would choose uh, the only thing that I would actually go is pairing up the graphic card with the motherboard just like I did right here so basically it's all up to personal preferences after all and if you want that couple of thousand megabytes per second uh, speed advantage on your memory you're going to go with MSI and that's it so nothing against us rock they both perform quite nicely and that's all there is to it i'll put the links below for intel core i5 12600k and for the msi pro b660 ma wi-fi ddr4 so you can check out the prices and everything else and that's about it if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and hit the notification bell for future content hopefully i will see you in another one bye bye